The Monerotopia Weekly News segment is sponsored by WizardSwap.io, a non-custodial cryptocurrency exchange. All right. Okay, let's bring it up. What do we got here? Mm, is this the first one? All right, sharing the screen. Let me bring it up. Oh. Okay. First story of the day. Oh, why? Where is it? First story of the day. Dark work. Dark web market owner arrested in New York after FBI traces. Uh, we kind of already this on the outset. The incognito market guy got shut down. Um, how's my sound? Can people? Okay. Yeah, incognito market got shut down, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, I don't primarily Monero based. I don't know. I don't. Bitcoin, but I get. Interesting is what's saying here is FBI traced FBI found Lynn and led his ties to the dark market site partly by tracing incognito market crypto transfers to an unnamed centralized crypto exchange account in Lynn's name. In a dip, deposition, uh, FBI task force officer Mark Rubin said, while controlled by Lynn, received funds from incognito market's wallet, which was then sent to an exchange account in his name so somebody um you know took bitcoin sent it to an instant exchange it sounds like swapped it into monero and sent that Monero to a, a centralized exchange then sell it for for cash i assume it's so uh 2022 to 33 administrator wallet one transferred two coins to a swapping service so to an instant exchange value at the time of the two bitcoin transfers 104 monero so they turned two bitcoins into 304 monero and they turned around and uh deposited um uh, bitcoin well then convert uh, it was two bitcoins yeah valued at like 304.74 monero 100 monero uh, so almost three Monero, so they just got rid of the point for Monero, exact same amount, uh, and then move that to a, a exchange. So it was quite obvious that same, the same Monero um, obtained on and then moved over. So poor, poor play by the Magneto guy. Um, you know, not that we're sorry to see the guy. That I was you know, scamming, scamming people, right? I think he was blackmailing people trying to get them to to pay him when he when he was, when their incognito was uh, under uh, when he when he rugged everybody. But uh, he's since been caught, and it was because of his poor uh, use of of Monero, swapping it into Bitcoin in, in a traceable way. By using an instant exchange and then moving that same exact amount to a centralized KYC exchange. So, yeah, don't feel sorry for him. How do I just easily move over to the next? Uh... All right, wait, you know what? Just cut. Okay. Yeah, yeah, show this time. Okay, next story. Uh, tens of thousands of Polish farmers march or so against. Stra uh, strangling restrictions. I haven't been following this, but I guess it's just, you know, we've been talking about it quite a bit on the show, how they're trying to cut off the farmers. We saw in the Netherlands. Now we're seeing it in Poland. Um, this is all part of, you know, this idea of moving toward further, closer and closer towards a one world government. Uh, our governments are instituting, you know, uh, policies where they want to essentially control control farmers, control food meat, farming, control our food sources, but encouraging to see that rising up. I don't know the details of this, but just something to 
I guess keep an eye on. Um, next story: Breaking Darius a new episode has, has dropped. Um, Breaking Manet is, is a very well-known, famous series of videos just for creating many very that talks about Nero in a very honest way, fully aspects of his technology. Um, pointedly, ring signatures is the exposing the known weaknesses of signatures and attacks that can be made on ring signatures. Justin has some great interviews that he did during Breaking Monero to explain that. And the Monero community has always been honestly explaining that, looking towards eliminating um, those shortcomings. As we know, that elimination is on the precipice with the innovation of full improvements. Luke Parker. And so now Luke Parker came in an interview with Breaking Darrow. Uh, as we know from last week's show, because man expose a flaw um in this interview it goes into into detail on how exactly he broke Monero. breaking minute De- Dara episode one receivers amounts messages and some senders leaked so Luke goes over exactly what components of Darrow are broke <clears throat> so a body was mentioning as well. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check that one out. Uh, but yeah, Darrow, if you're listening, we're, we're open to having you participate at Monero Toby. I've said it a couple of times. Uh, I don't know, maybe they don't want to be out there talking so honestly about their tech. I don't know. Uh, but nice to see a breaking Darrow episode drop. Let, let the truth get out there and people can make the determinations on the room. Next story, we have Lola sending out a t- tweet. The prosecution's attempt to label Samurai Wallet as money service business is not only false, but also sets a dangerous precedent. If successful, it could undermine and custodial and privacy focused segment of the coin system, threatening the very principles of decentralization and user anonymity. Lola is actually going. Lola is going to actually Lola is going to actually be a speaker at Monerotopia, which is very very cool. I've been following her for a long time, um, so she's going to be a speaker. I think she's going to be remote, uh, but very cool that she's going to be a speaker. I don't know if she's spoke elsewhere. I don't I don't think I've seen that. So uh, very cool that she'll be speaking at Monerotopia and presenting. Uh, tab should have used Monero. Uh, Bell Belle Delphin went viral for selling six thirty dollars jars. Oh, so the the chick that was selling her water. Some I don't know if she's a porn star, um, but she has a tremendous following. She's selling bath water for thirty dollars a jar, and I think apparently when she did it at the time, she ended up not receiving any of the money. It was like. I don't know if it's hundreds of thousands. It was a lot of money, a lot of bath water she sold, and uh, PayPal. Um, hundreds in the day, but PayPal rules about Adele like, content. It froze her account and kept the money. She didn't get any of her hard-earned bath cash. Um, audio is down now. Has it been bad the whole time? No. So um, I'm getting a lot of clipping and like cutting, like it seems to be cutting out a lot, but I just assumed it was my connection. I don't know if anyone else has that. Yeah, same. I think it's on dog's end. Oh, okay. Conferences, conferences notoriously have spotty internet connection, as we well know. Yeah. Um, all right. I'll wrap. So is, is it really is it not usable? Okay. It's usable. I think, I think it's overall usable. Uh, well, I, I could pretty much up at this. T- this t- next story was incognito market again, but I guess we already talked about Zeno is those talking about some of the insights that we can gather from. Um, he goes into what better uh, 
He's looking at incognito market, the data that was um, retrieved by the government agencies showing how incognito market moved over from being Bitcoin based to being Monero based. The total XMR deposits represent 269,000 XMR. Um, so showing how insights into how we're seeing how we saw uh, incognito market move over from being Bitcoin based to Monero based. Um, and then he, I think he then just talks about how, you know, the guy used four OPSEC to his Bitcoin into Monero using a instant exchange and then or to a set to set exactly to a central exchange, which we already talked about.